Let's talk to Professor Aaron Yashi from the Etten Burglar School of Economics at Tel Aviv University. Professor, good to see you. Welcome to the program. Thanks for your time. Tell us more about the economic uh, impact of the uh, current turmoil the country now uh, finds itself in. Thank you for inviting me. The ca country is in great turmoil uh, these past uh, six or even seven months since the new government, which is extreme right and extreme nationalistic government, got into power in late December. In early January, they announced a series of judicial overhaul steps that they call judicial reforms, but basically this is a power grab. And because it's a power grab, that's why we fear it severe economic consequences, as Moody's was outlining both last night in a sort of special interim report, and back in April when they issued a report not downgrading the Israeli economy, but warning that this may be coming. And the economic consequences are grave because this judicial overhaul is hurting the strong and income-generating parts of the Israeli economy, mostly the high-tech sector. The high-tech sector has already experienced a huge fall in investment. All new companies are registering outside Israel. And uh, there is no light uh, at the end of the tunnel for that sector. That sector is absolutely key for the Israeli economy. It's 17% of GDP. It's 50% of exports and it's 25% of direct tax revenues. If that high-tech sector is gone, the Israeli economy will sink and investors will shun Israel all the more. All of which begs the question, Professor, I mean, the government must have considered the economic consequences, the economic outcomes of its judicial changes, surely? Well, apparently not. Uh, to give just one example, uh, the reaction of the Prime Minister Netanyahu and the Finance Minister Smotrich, who, by the way, is one of the extreme religious, extreme nationalists in the government, they issued a reaction, they re issued a reaction to the re Moody's report even before it was published. Uh, so basically, they didn't even read it and reacted in anticipation. And uh, today, a few minutes ago, I got a report. The Treasury Ministry officials say there was no single serious discussion in the ministry about the Moody's report from last night. The, the fact is that the government coalition, for various reasons, is so interested in this power grab that it, A, prepares to disregard for now the warnings on the economics, B, they s seem to think that grabbing resources for their aims is more important than any damage, say, the high-tech sector would suffer. That is not rational, but that's the situation. Professor, I'm sure we'll return to this in coming days and weeks, but uh, for uh, the moment, thank you very much indeed for your time and expertise, uh, Professor Aaron Yashiv at Tel Aviv University. Thank you.